Just in a couple days is UFC Fight Night 103. It is the return of BJ Penn, but he is fighting the up-and-coming star, only 24 years old, in Yair Rodriguez, who's currently riding an eight-fight win streak. And I'm stoked to have uh, Yair join me on the line right now. How's it going? Hey, how are you? I'm pretty good. Uh, what about you guys? Yeah, I'm doing great. Well, thank you for your time. So I just kind of want to cut to the chase. You know, uh, when it was first announced, so how thrilled were you when you finally uh, realized, you know, you got this fight against him? Uh, so it was pretty, pretty good, a pretty good notice for me, you know, because uh, as you say, um, this is a guy that I grew up watching. You know, that now that I have the opportunity to fight him, it's just a pretty big deal for me, you know, it's a guy that I respect a lot. But uh, I just think that now is my time to shine. You know, he has his time. Now is my time. And was he one of your favorite fighters growing up? Excuse me? Was he one of your favorite fighters to watch growing up? Yeah, he was one of them, you know, um, one of them. And, as uh, you know, Coach Franson, as John uh, Jones, as uh, Anderson Silva, Jose Aldo, all of those guys is the, the, the kind of guys that I grew up watching. Now, Yair, I, I do know that, um, like, when this fight was announced and uh, also, you know, when I was talking to BJ, I, I know a lot of people out there, they're like, oh, wow, you know, they both uh, train at Jackson Wink. But to my understanding, you actually relocated uh, to Chicago with your head coach, Mike. So who will be in your corner for this fight? So my head coach right now is Mike Bali, you know, like you say, and Luis Claudio. Um, they are my head coaches right now. Uh, basically, uh, Luis is my my Jiu Jitsu coach, and Coach Mike is my striking coach, which is my head coach. And uh, I have two more guys coming with me. You know, uh, they're, they're they've been part of of, of my last training camp. Uh, you know, but they they can you know they can change you know with the time. But for now, they they're my main main coaches for now. And I, and I it's been more than two years that I'm not training with with Jackson Wink anymore. You know, I don't know why people still like talking about it now would you ever go back or are you pretty content uh no i love everyone there you know but i just uh that i found my place here up in chicago and i just feel better up, up here like up there i'm sorry and um well you did mention you know it's been a few years since you were at jackson's um but did you and bj ever get the chance to train together I, we actually trained once together. It was just, uh, you know, um, pretty basic stuff. We just moved a little. It was like nothing that we can show about the strike or whatever. You know, it was just like pretty basic stuff, you know, going into a takedown from, from the punches and stuff like that. So basically it was just moving around. Yeah, and, well, knowing that, you know, their camp is pretty familiar with your training and your style. Um, how have you and your team kind of ensured to have surprises for them on Saturday? I mean, they, they already know that I'm a different kind of fighter. You know, they know that, uh, that, uh, that I can, that I'm, that I'm good in every sense of my fighting game, you know. So I'm, I'm not worried about them telling them whatever they want. You know, I, I don't care. I can just, I can call them and tell them my, my strategy because, it's not, it's not really a strategy, you know. I'm mean, just going fighting. I'm an MMA fighter. An MMA fighter is supposed to supposed to be good in every sense of a fighting game, you know. And I, I just think I'm good on every sense of my fighting game. And for this camp, though, for BJ Penn, I mean, was there something specific that you really uh, tried to hone on? Or was did you kind of treat it like, you know, anyone else? Um, no, it wasn't nothing special, you know, just, just putting my hands up a little more, you know, because I know he, he has his, his, the power in his hands. And uh, that's basically it, you know, uh, every everything else is just being like like normal, you know, like just train hard, I always train hard, you know, I, I, I always train harder every fight, you know, I always focus better in every fight. And this time it wasn't different, you know, I, I, I prepare for the best, the best VA pen ever. Yeah, and um, looking at your past few fights, Yair, I mean, you're coming off a knockout of Andre Feely and then also the split decision over Alex Caceres. Um, 
after this fight or going into Saturday, like what statement are you hoping to put out there uh, for the featherweight division? Yeah, I'm just I'm hoping to win. And that's what I want to do. You know, I just hope to win. Whoever it comes, you know, if he, he thinks it's going to be pretty easy for him, he's wrong. You know, I'm, I'm here to be the best, the best in the world. I'm here to be the champion of the world. And that's what I'm hoping for. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm rooting for it. Um, I'm getting ready for it, and you know, this, this guy is, is just trying to do the same thing as me, and I respect that, but now, now is my time to shine.